Lil Yachty is not well. He's not okay. He's having a mental breakdown, a mental episode of the ages for all of social media to see. Now, Lil Yachty began his unwell activities earlier today on his podcast when he was essentially telling his friend of many years, his best friend Mitch, who, who he does a podcast with, he was telling Mitch, listen, I made you, all right? Use a bum. You've never done nothing. Everything in your life you owe to me, all right? Your soul, you know, your income, your anything, all right? How you wash your behind is because of me, Mitch. You owe me. And fans were not feeling this at all. Wait, hold on. I want to go back to this conversation about suggesting out there that want to go rob. No, it's other shit. Like, even if I... Well, first of all, we're not suggesting nobody go rob. I never said, yo... Um, I'm saying just go get it, whatever the way that's not the righteous way. I'm just saying, it's, even though, yeah, maybe back in, in the past, to him? Listen, gonna I'm going to say it right now. Yeah, even though maybe in the past, you know, probably didn't live like righteous back then, but, you know, we found the righteous path, and that is what you should do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what Mitch is saying is almost impossible to disagree with. Now, the conversation started because Key Glock was like, he got some homies who don't really want to work and go out and get it, but they want to live the rapper lifestyle. Like, he's saying, listen, I'm not even telling you to go out and rob, bro, but do what you got to do. Just don't live off another man. So Mitch is saying, hold on, bro. Let's not put out that message, bro. Let's not tell, you know, these little kids to go out there and rob, bro. Tell them go out and live a righteous way. Go out and get it, but go out and get it in a righteous way. That's a message that's almost impossible to disagree with. The only reason anybody would hear what Mitch says and have an issue with it is one, they don't like Mitch, which is odd because Lo Yachty and Mitch are best friends. And two, they've been itching to bring up something. So they're just going to disagree for the sake of disagreeing because that's a setup for them to bring something else to embarrass Mitch, which is what Lo Yachty essentially did, right? Because Lo Yachty whole issue with this was kind of discombobulated. But essentially, he's telling Mitch all right, that Mitch don't have the right to tell kids to do better and live righteously because apparently at some point, Mitch wasn't living righteously. Like, maybe. I can't let you say that because you're not being honest. Uh -oh. so they don't hear you're not being shit. honest. You're not being honest. What do you mean I'm not being honest? What, what, are you, what are you being honest about right now? What path did you No, find? I'm saying it's other kids can do besides like that's not what righteous. You do? Learn how to make beats. What? Yeah. Why? We'll make you say no. We'll, we'll make you cheek. Uh, we even going to why? We'll make you people. What do you mean what? What do you mean? Because I pick one. Go ahead, pick one. Because I'm I'm about to light you up. <laughs> yeah. like, like I will make you say like the producer line. We'll make you want to go their way. Um, I just always like like the first time I heard a beat that was like dumb and amazing. I was like, yo, I need to learn how to make that. So that's what made me start like making beats and shit. We've all been through something like this before. Lil Yachty is moving like that weirdo friend who, when they feel like they got something on you, bro, every argument, every disagreement, every, like, bro, every situation, bro, like, yo, it's like they hold it against you, right? Is they use it as, like, a threat. Bro, don't make me do it, bro. I don't want to do it, bro. Bro, man, you know you capping, bro. Bro. Bro, I'm, bro, I'm going, bro, bro, I'm going to say it, Right? It's after a while, bro, you're like, bro, just say it, bro. Like, bro, like, let the cat out the bag. But in this situation, Lil Yachty ain't even have no deep, dark secret on Mitch. Like, he essentially just wanted an opportunity, bro, to tell Mitch, uh, you know, that he made Mitch and to embarrass Mitch in front of Key Glock. Now, somebody needs to tell Lil Yachty, though, bro, that, like, all the pastors, all the reverends in the inner cities, bro, or in the hood, you used to sell crack at some point, right? Like, like, listen, if you live in the hood or grew up in the hood, but chances are, bro, your pastor <laughs> sold crack to your uncle, right? All the pastors are ex-street dudes, right? They're all reformed street dudes. So, like, if the beacons of morality in the hood are all ex-street dudes, bro, then it's like, people can change. Mixed, Mitch, Mitch, <laughs> could at some point live an unrighteous lifestyle. And he can, at this point, be living a righteous lifestyle and telling these kids to not go down the path that he almost went down upon. And even if Mitch didn't change, even if Mitch was still living an unrighteous lifestyle, it still doesn't disqualify him from telling these babies not to go down the lifestyle that he went down, right? Yo, who's better to tell kids not to do crack than a crackhead? But Lil Yachty would then go on this, like, on this entire like weird spiel on how he made Mitch, how Mitch, you know, wasn't doing nothing with his life without him. 
how Mitch needs to stop capping for the podcast. Like he was really doing something when he wasn't. It's just something you don't do to a friend on a platform of this scale. So but I know I'm right. So I'm what's okay. up? Okay, what's cool. So let's go back to 2015. What, what you spent a lot of time trying to find your steps. Right. Right. But so that's, to that's my make, point. No, 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 no. Imagine if you didn't have a friend who is already extremely successful to help you get on your feet. A lot of people don't have that. So what I'm saying is, how, what do you say? Because you didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So what do you say to a who like, hey, I see a with a shiny watch. I got a gun, a dusty gun. It's going to take a shiny watch. You know what I'm saying? What do you tell a I've heard this dumb remedial argument before from criminals or crime empathizers who says, yo, 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 how you going to tell somebody yo, who don't got anything not to go out and don't kill people and steal their stuff? Like, what do you mean what I'm going to tell them? Bro, don't do it. Like, it's dumb, all right? If you do it, you should, like, you should rot in jail. For, for the simple fact of, yo, know, we've seen the majority of people in those predicament doesn't do that, right? The hood isn't just filled with criminals, right? Like, the majority of people in the hood don't do crimes, bro. Like, and those people are in the same predicament you guys are in, right? The same people in the hood or the urban cities who get up and go to work and work four or five jobs to feed their families and don't do crime and are hardworking Americans, bro. They grew up in the same environments you grew up in. Right, they're in the same predicament you're in, and they chose to get up and go work for what they got. Right, so for those who choose to steal, those who choose to you know inflict violence on others, bro, like what do you mean? What do I tell them? Don't do it. It's wrong. And you know, and if I've ha you know, and if I had a sketchy past, that doesn't disqualify me from telling kids don't do this. Loyalty is dumb, right? And loyalty throwing the fact that he lend. You know, Mitch a helping hand, and that's why Mitch is right where he is right now. So therefore, that's that right, right like that disqualifies Mitch from speaking to the kids. It's crazy, bro. And it just feels like Lil Yachty been wanting to bring this up and throw it back in Mitch's face. If you're really the homie, bro, like if you are really my homie and you really helped me out with some things, bro, you don't throw it back in my face. As a matter of fact, like whatever you did for me shouldn't even be like in your mind. Like whatever you did and helped me out with, bro, shouldn't even register in your mind as something that you can pull from. Right? That's not what friends do. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna encourage it. But you gotta think about people got. I, what I'm telling you is, it's shit you can tell. It, what? Like even what? if, even if. But what I'm telling you, think about yourself. But listen, though. but no, no, listen, no. Even if then, say that's what I, that's the point I'm trying to make to you, bro. What point? Even if then, if I wasn't doing shit righteous then, older now, so I would not tell him to do yeah, anything you, like I was doing back yeah, then, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm trying to tell that's you. That's fine, but you that's because you've been through you've been through years of 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 development, bro. That's the point of it. So I can. When, so I'm saying that's the you, point. But think about remove me from this situation. Remove me. I was never in your life. What the fuck would you have been doing? Who, I feel like you might have been doing that shit. Who knows what you would have been doing if you ain't if if you ain't have a to show you. What are you saying, bro? I'm saying I'm saying I'm God. I, I could predict the future, and if you didn't have me in your life, Lo Yadi, right, the God, right, the second coming of Jesus. If you didn't have me, you would be on the street somewhere panhandling, asking for change. And if you had too much pride to stand on the corner asking for some change, you would be robbing people. So therefore, you can't speak on it because I can predict the future. If you didn't have me, bro, what? <laughs> so obviously, the fans. <laughs> Roast the Yachty for this. Obviously, the fans were not on Yachty's side at all. They thought Yachty was a sociopath for what he did. He was out of his mind. He was dead wrong. And they let him know this. Like, listen, the fans, one thing you have to give them credit for, bro, if you do some BS, bro, they are very vocal about the BS that you do, and they'll let you know. You can look at this and see what the fans are saying. I would never let like, Yachty help me with nothing. Yachty treated Mitch like Joe treated him in 2016. Key is like, what the F am I sitting in this thing? This was not a safe space for Mitch. Yachty lighting him up this episode. Yachty claiming Mitch wouldn't be who he was without him is mad corny. Yachty, you need to grow up, bro. Trying to put your mans on the spot in front of the public and key glock. You act like a nerd that got rich. That's that Drake influence. 
Yachty basically saying Mitch wouldn't be none without him is wild to do on the internet. And I agree, right? I agree, bro. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, y'all got to let your guests speak more. So uh, okay, but, all right. Boat always trying to belittle Mitch or ish on Mitch. Whenever Mitch telling a story of feeling himself, Yachty is weird. Mitch got to separate himself honestly. Yo, the fans were not feeling this at all. And honestly, I'll be real. This is like the second time. Now, I've seen Yachty do something similar on other occurrences, but the this is a second major time where Yachty sort of put Mitch in like a horrible position. Like, um, Yachty is the same dude who was on the podcast with Kai Sonata and Mitch and just exposed Mitch for sleeping with his cousin. Like, just unprovokingly just exposed Mitch. And Mitch is like, bruh, yo, like you knew that in secrecy. Like, why would you tell the public this? But this is what Yachty does, man. Like, Yachty treat Mitch like a dude boy, like somebody who he doesn't respect. And it's a shame because they grew up together. Like, yo, know, like Mitch was literally like staying with Yachty and his mama before Yachty even started rapping. So they're literally brothers. You so, made OnlyFans? I, I made an OnlyFans to see. Like, oh. my cousin, I heard my cousin was on it. Too. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, his cousin was on OnlyFans. And you went to go. Nah, because I'm like, no, oh, I wait. You no, also I, was dating his cousin once. You really are from once. Alabama. Dated his yo! Yeah, explain, me, explain the story. Listen, explain the listen, story. bro. I didn't. You, you think I just like, yo, you're my cousin. Let's date. It oh, wasn't like they that. Didn't know they were cousins. It wasn't like that, bro. I, we was chilling in the room. Listen, yo, what the bro. I'm gonna tell you. Was, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you. We was chilling in the room, and then she said something. Like she always saying little things. I'm like, and then she said, man, my my, my uncle last name is. I'm like, your uncle last name? What? Call my mom. I'm like, yo, mom. She said, and then we go on Facebook. Mutual friend, auntie. I'm like, y'all ain't do nothing though. Oh, they f several oh. times, too many times, and they didn't stop f after. They Yo. Okay, now listen. listen you weird. Now listen. Yo. I'm gonna tell you the real. I'm gonna tell you the real. <laughs> now listen, cause he, cause he's making it go another way. So I'm now, truth, so now I'm gonna tell you the real. Okay, this is a safe place. So I keep it real. Yeah. Did I strike afterwards? Yes. Was I <laughs> my right mind? No. Very disgusting. Very ao. Very who misses this? <laughs> Nasty stuff. Family members are off limits, bro. No matter what the relations are, bro. They're just off limits. But nonetheless, bro, like, Yachty is a nasty friend for bringing that up. It, like, it's just disgusting. It's gross. You don't do that to a friend, right? You don't do that to somebody who you call a friend. I'm sorry. It's not cool at all. It's not. It's just not cool at all. I'm sorry. It's just not cool. But Yachty did it, right? So that right there was the first time where I'm like, I don't know about this friendship, bro. Like, this friendship don't really seem like the most equally yoked, we on the same page friendship, bro. It feels like Yachty is here. He feels like a superior to Mitch, and Mitch has got to eat all of Yachty-ish because Mitch needs Yachty. Now, after this, though, right, you know, the fans were eating up Yachty on Twitter, right? There was posts going viral, calling Yachty a jerk, et cetera, et cetera. So, Yachty decided he was going to hop on IG Live today to essentially go off on the people calling him a jerk for what he did to Mitch, but not just go off on the people, he also goes off on Mitch, as if it's Mitch's fault that he made himself look like an ass. Now to this Mitch situation, because Mitch got me f***ed up. Y'all online talking about some little Yachty bully, uh, disrespecting his friend in front of Key Glock. Bro, I didn't even want to do a podcast, bro. I swear to God, I didn't want to do no podcast. That literally has nothing to do. <laughs> that literally has nothing to do at all, at all, with the statement you just said. Right? Y'all saying I'm bullying my friend in front of Key Glock. Man, I didn't want to do a podcast. What does that have to do with, <laughs> with the prior statement? And how does Mitch have you effed up? Mitch ain't do nothing to you at all. As a matter of fact, yo, y'all watch the interaction. Bro, Mitch was more than respectful. Yes, bro. I didn't want to do no podcast, bro. I didn't, I didn't, that, I, bro. Mitch came to me like, bro, I need to do something in life. I need to do something in life. Help me out. I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to give you a platform. I'm going to find someone to sponsor us. And I'm going to give you a platform. We're going to make a podcast. 
and I'm a I'm gonna show people how funny you are. I'm gonna show people how crazy you are. I'm gonna show people like how cool you are, and it's gonna give you a platform. You know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna do no podcast, nigga. I'm a mother rapper, nigga. Got millions of dollars. I don't need to talk to other rappers. What the f- are you talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Don't put goddamn three, 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 four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. And y'all sitting here talking about some. He disrespecting his friend. Yo, Yachty is one of those people who believes that because they do something for you. Yo, Yachty, yo, like, Yachty's the homie who believes that you shouldn't be mad that, you know, he clapped your girl's cheeks just because you live in, live in his house, right? Yo, because he took you in to live with him, if he smashes your girlfriend, bro, bro like, you are ungrateful, like, if you get upset. Yachty feels like he can mistreat you because he does something for you. And that's a sad quality to have. Like, that just shows you are a severely flawed person, right? Like, you have severe character flaws if you think that's okay. And I got, I'm, I, fuck, fuck, I ain't fucking with Mitch, bro. I talk. Why aren't you effing with Mitch, man? What did Mitch do to you, Yachty? Let's hear it. I, I been asleep all day. I wake up to this crazy shit. Mitch, how the, I say, Mitch, how the fuck you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? Because y'all wasn't playing. At all. That tweet got goddamn six million views on it. Why the fuck you ain't going there telling folks we playing? Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, fuck that then, nigga. Fuck the podcast, nigga. Fuck you. That's crazy. Yo, he's treating Mitch like his personal lapdog. Think about what he just said for a minute. Hey, bro. I disrespected you on the podcast. Fans are on Twitter pointing out how I disrespected you on the podcast. Why didn't you take it upon yourself to go on Twitter and attack the fans who were attacking me while I was sleeping? Excuse me? (laughs) Like, huh? Like, like, huh? Excuse me? (laughs) What? Like, what are you talking about? Like, why would I do that? Like why? Like why would I ever like what? So, huh? That's madness. Like, are you good? If I'm Mitch, the first thing I'm asking is, sir, are you good? Like, like, are you okay up there? Because it doesn't make sense at all. It just does not make sense, right? And yo, yo, and even if Mitch didn't feel disrespected. So what is Mitch going to do? Like, whenever the fans got a new narrative about your podcast, is he going to be, like, a Twitter finger? Like, is he going to be Meek Mill? Is he going to respond back to every narrative the fans have? Yachty really cares about the battle of public perception because I guess he's a rapper, so his, like, you know, his public image means something to him. But it's almost absurd, right, to dictate that your co-hosts respond back to fan theories and fan narratives on Twitter. If you guys are not affected by it, then it should stop there. You can't respond back to every narrative the fans have, every podcast. At that point, bro, like you might as well just not do a show. But he cancels the show, essentially cancels the only source of income that Mitch currently has because Mitch didn't take it upon himself to go on Twitter to go back and forth with trolls and fans. It's sickening, right? But after Yachty did that, Mitch finally took it upon himself to go on Twitter to give Yachty what he wants and speak up and, and, you know, and tell the fans, yo, this means nothing, bro. Y'all taking it out of proportion. So Mitch takes to Twitter after being called upon by Yachty like a lapdog. And Mitch says, uh, all right, let's clear some things up <laughs> as if he had a choice. All right. Then he continues to says, please don't let that clip misguide you. It doesn't represent me and Yachty's friendship. Yo, you're legit, like, <laughs> regurgitating word for word what Yachty asked you to do during that live stream, all right? Like, this would hit and sound more sincere if Yachty didn't already do a live stream telling you the ultimatum is you come on Twitter or de- and defend me or our podcast is done, right? And your source of income is done. Like, it's either pay rent, right? You know, defend me or don't have rent <laughs> or don't have no rent money, all right? You know, and you chose to defend Yachty, which, of course, is a smart thing to do. 
All right, so he goes and says, you know, we joke around pretty harsh sometimes too much for real. Sometimes, but in real life is nothing but respect and love. I can't even get on here and act like it's not. Oh, man. <laughs> Yadi said in the live, Mitch, tell them folks, folks, we joking, Mitch. <laughs> so Mitch is telling us y'all joking. Hey, shout out to Mitch, man. Certified bag getter, man. Feel me, bag chaser, man. Yo, get your paper, Mitch. We're not judging you, brother. All right, we're judging Yachty. Mitch says, I ain't nobody, little bro. Never been. Check my history. I had stats before I met bro and got even more now. All I ever wanted to do was just focus on the music and being involved in the culture in a positive way. I hope none of this hinders that. It sounds like your podcast over, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, and... And Madam Go well, Mitch goes, if you don't hear it from me, it's not true. Bro never stole from me, and we don't have no shady history or anything along that's nature, so that's cap. Remember that cousin y'all just heard about about five minutes ago? Stay tuned, all right? Stay tuned, because this, this tweet right here will make a lot of sense pretty shortly. And Madman goes, Everybody know that me know I put in work. Nobody can take that from me. And he wasn't trying to take that from me. We just debating on camera. It got taken out of context. So so he goes, I'm dead. The next podcast will be epic. I don't even think we need a guest this time. LL, see you around. So it looks like Lil Yachty is dangling like the carrot of still having a podcast over Mitch. Like, hey, come on camera and defend me, boy, all right? Right? Like, you want this podcast, right? Come on camera and defend me. And it looks like that's that's exactly what's going to happen, all right? That's exactly what's going to happen. You know, he's going to come on camera and defend Lil Yachty, all right? Now, you guys know the cousin that Lil Yachty exposed that Mitch had intercourse with? Well, that cousin who's often regarded as Mitch's ex-girlfriend, well, when the clip began to go viral of Lil Yachty pretty much berating, degrading, low bro and Mitch, well, that cousin slash ex-girlfriend decided to take to Twitter to get, you know, her flesh at some clout, right? She took, you know, her bite, you know, at some of the clout that's been passing around. She wanted some of the clout too. So she took to Twitter to defend Mitch, her ex-boyfriend, a.k.a. cousin. Yo, I'm sorry. This shit got me mad as f Like, I'm so, like, and Mitch, I know you finna be mad as hell. I know you finna be mad as hell because you hate when I come to the internet, but I, I can't. Like, this nigga took it to the internet. This nigga boat took it to the internet. So let's take it to the fucking internet because I'm somebody that's been there since 2019. When you put your career to the side to be this everything, manager, role manager, creative director, all that shit, who was in the meetings every time i called my ex-boyfriend he was in a meeting for your stupid ass and you go sit up here and say oh like all i ever did was help you nigga you hired the nigga what you mean that's his job what are you talking about like you really have some nerve and and i bro i've stayed quiet for years i i ain't never i ain't never said nigga but high and by when i came over and i let a lot of all right she's defending mitch her ex-boyfriend slash cousin which I guess is commandable, bro. But like, she quickly transitions into straight cloud chaser mode. Like, I hate this thing where people do. I kept quiet for so long. It wasn't your business. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I kept quiet for so long. Kept quiet about what? About what Yadi and Mitch got going on that has nothing to do with you? Why would you come on Twitter years ago to say that? <laughs> like, should we say, "Oh my God, you're"? <laughs> You're such a great person for not spilling other people's business that have nothing to do with you on Twitter. What? Yeah, it's insane, bro. Like, yo, I, like, I despise people who act like this, but Yachty is also not an angel, which sort of, like, makes me conflicted because she's a straight cloud chaser, but Yachty is, you know, not innocent as well, right? But her going on his heel, on his whole spiel about how she kept quiet for years... Bro, you're just an ex-girlfriend. Like, you have nothing to do with this. Like, you're not in the picture anymore. <laughs> like, like you didn't do them a favor by being quiet about their personal issues that Mitch came and probably vent to you about. It's not your business. 
Ugh. Like, I've been telling Mitch you was a bogus-ass nigga. I've been saying that shit. Because you are. You're a bogus-ass nigga. And now it's finally getting exposed, you bitch-ass nigga. And I dare you. I fuck dare a mother say I'm fucking lying. I want somebody to say I'm fucking lying. I want, I want one, I want one of y'all concrete niggas to say I'm fucking lying. Because I will really get into y'all real tea. Because you know what? I've been around for years. And I've been quiet. And I've just been observing. And I've just been collecting on y'all niggas. Don't fucking make me. You don't know what the I know. Don't don't make me really do it to you. Don't make me do it to y'all niggas. Apparently, Mitch don't even talk to this chick anymore. And for her to say, I've been sitting back for years watching y'all closely building up info on y'all to expose you. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Ew. Just, bro, she's gross, man. Yo, this is levels of cloud chasing that I don't think I've ever seen, yo. Like, you are the ex-girlfriend... Mitch barely don't even talk to you. Nobody said your name. Like, you are not involved in this whatsoever. But, like, you're yelling at the top of your young. Don't make me expose you. Don't. Uh huh? And then you even threaten Mitch. I dare anybody to say I'm lying. Bro, why are you disinvest? Like, like, this has nothing to do with you. Yo, this chick is gross. It's gross. You know, but. I guess she added to the T, so I guess we have to cover it, right? So, outside of that, right, her cloud chasing expedition didn't just stop there. She apparently did a Twitter space where she, like, ran it for about five minutes of a lot of more accusations about Yachty and Mitch and how Yachty did Mitch wrong. You took this shit to the internet. You talking about Mitch. All I ever did was help him. No, all you ever did was hold him back. All the you ever did was hold him back because every time he got an opportunity with somebody else, you would threaten, oh, nah, you can't do that. You trying to block everything else that he tried to do for himself because all you ever did was use him, nigga. Bombastic side eye, bro. Yo, this chick is the most irritating person alive. Now, it didn't stop there. She even took credit for why the show is popping and claimed that people only watch the show because of her. People watch that shit for him. And let's really get into the team. People really watch that shit because of me. Because you're the one that brought up the fact that I was just, the, the cousin shit. You brought that shit up because you wanted to try to clown and humiliate that fucking nigga and yeah that shit is about me nigga so who's real so who's really giving you the clout for that podcast me nigga this is delusion in human form her thinking that one running joke created the entire podcast and that's the reason why millions of people tune in every month to watch this podcast she's out of her mind and she's just delusional bro like this is just giving cloud chaser bro like, yo i even feel nasty inside even entertaining and giving this chick any type of attention because she don't deserve it at all now, Lil Yachty will respond back to her cloud chasing expedition, and he'll respond back to her. So this is what Yachty had to say about her claiming that he, you know, stole money from Mitch, that he's been trying to downplay Mitch, that he needs Mitch, that he's been leeching off of Mitch and blackballing Mitch from opportunities. Here's what Yachty had to say. You dumbass broad. Hold on. You dumb broad. This nigga was telling you lies just to get away from you, ho. What is you talking about, ho? Nigga, talking about all the times you called him. He was in meetings. Mitch ain't never did no damn meetings for me, nigga. If y'all didn't tell him the truth, it does sound familiar to what members of these rap entourage usually do. All right, if you just one of the dudes who's around the rapper and you want the girl to think you really more important, like you really playing a bigger role, like you really one of them, you know, you start feeding her a pipe dream, talking about, ha, oh, bro, Yachty got me talking to the label again, bro, like, I got to approve a $10 million budget for Yachty, man. I'm here negotiating for you, right? So so that's not out the picture, right? Mitch could have probably been selling this chick a pipe dream, you feel me? Clapping cheeks, having her believe, you know, he's going somewhere big one day, et cetera, et cetera, right? So Yachty could very well be telling the truth. I don't doubt it. What fuck is you talking about, nigga? Nigga with me, me bro, me, bro, stop, stop playing with me, ho. You wasn't, you're not even a factor in this, bro. You was really a he just used to use to sleep at your mother house ho i ain't never stole a dollar from mitch nigga mitch been living with me since the mother 10 years ago nigga when i ain't even have a, a cent nigga when i lived in my mama house he lived with me nigga how did you talking about ho you you really starting some shit you don't know what you talking about you not even a, you don't know nothing you talking about ho what is you what are you saying bro i ain't never stole a dollar from that nigga if anything i helped him nigga out i da i dare you miss you better get this hoe bro you better hit get you better get this hoe bro if i really like really tell it how it is bro Nigga ain't never did nothing for me. Fuck is you talking about, ho? 
Nigga, put his shit to the side for me. How what is you talking about? You got some dirt on me, nigga. Put it on the motherfucking light. If you got some dirt, bring it to the motherfucking light, ho. So we can really tell everything how it is. We tell everything how it is, ho. Cause I know about you. You you you's a bitch that just you you gave a nigga a place to sleep. You gave that nigga a place to sleep, ho. You he's leaving your place. To, stop playing with me, ho. You was nothing in this shit, bro. You 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 you. By the way, y'all, this the cousin we be talking about. I applaud Yachty, man. All right, I. Applaud him for putting that broad in her place, but he let it be known she wasn't no type of favorite ex or girlfriend. She was his cousin who he didn't know was his cousin, who he was clapping her cheeks, you know, because she was desperate enough to let him stay at her place, right? She needed company, all right? <laughs> she was getting, you know, her coochie blasted, all right, by Reggie Phil Seaman, you know, getting her cheeks clapped on the floor of the air mattress, you know, while letting him stay there, and he's not contributing nothing to the household. She was just a desperate hood rat, man. Shout out to Yachty, man, for putting this this broad in her place. But Yachty wouldn't just stop at her. Yachty would redirect his attention to his former artist, Caribou. See, once he moved past the mid situation, he started going off with another person <laughs> on live as well. So Caribou uh, and Yachty was pretty much split ways, right? So Yachty would announce that she was no longer be a part of the label. Now, it was unclear if he kicked her out or if she left willingly. I don't want to say this. I'm going to say this shit one time, right? We uh, have split ways with Kara as far as this concrete shit. Um, I don't have nothing... I have nothing to say, nothing bad to say, nothing negative to say uh, about Kara. I wish her um, the best in her career. Since then, both sides, Caribou and Yachty, have been quiet and silent on the situation, not really offering up much details. That's until today. Because Yachty went absolutely crazy, berserk, wild, lost his mind on Caribou after a fan took to Twitter to reveal some information about the split that she claimed she got directly from Caribou. So under the post where Yachty is, I guess, going off on Mitch, a fan commented, I see why Caribou left, right? So then another fan who apparently met Caribou once stated, she personally told me out her mouth they kicked her out. They're all effed up people, and they were bullying her. She didn't leave. They kicked her out. Two Trill was the only person that had her back, which is why she still only follows him. A person wrote, oh, my God. So they was being fake towards her? This person responded back, bro, she walked in my job, Red Lobster, to order some biscuits, and I asked why she left. She immediately corrected me and said I didn't leave. They kicked me out saying they were really mean to her and bullying her a lot. She doesn't talk about it because it won't. She seemed really hurt behind it. To be honest, like, they really did her dirty, and I believe it's because her name was the biggest behind Yachty. If we're being real, I only started listening to him again because of her. They're haters, and I told her she would do just fine without them. F them. Then Caribou quote tweeted one of her old tweets where she says, I don't say too much because I know it's going to unfold on its own. And then she put this aged well in response to the Yachty and Mitch situation going viral, as well as a fan exposing what she told her. After that tweet, Yachty loaded up IG Lofman and went crazy berserk, exposed her for a lot, bro. He exposed the fact that he wrote all of Kara's songs, that she ain't write, she ain't produce, she ain't do nothing. He actually took her from, from like literally washing tables to come and rap, and he made her. He, he would also say that Kara is super disrespectful to the staff, to the team, to the label, to everybody, which is part of the reason why she's no longer with the Concrete Boys. All I ever did was help care, nigga care. If you want to tell this shit, tell the whole story. Go ahead, tell people how you verbally abuse people, all right? Don't get on here and make it seem like niggas kicked you out. Like niggas kicked you out because, uh, bullying you? Bro, go ahead, tell people how you talk to people. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home, oh, you work for me, oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor, and, uh, we above you, and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they're, like they small. Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of faith in Yachty, but, uh, something tells me deep down inside 
Kara being rude <laughs> to people or to service members isn't the reason why she's no longer part of that group. I could be wrong, but something just deep down in tells him, bro, that that's probably not the full reason why. We didn't, internally, we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career. What are we talking about, bro? What are we even talking about, bro? You don't even do nothing. You just, what the f***? Yo, bro, it's so crazy to me, bro, because I, 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 I've given you a career. And time to time, you just disrespect me. I wrote every verse you've done. I, I dressed, I dressed all five of y'all, bro. I hope the remaining members of the label is listening up. He's already telling people your business. Like he's already telling people how how he dressed y'all, how he gave y'all jewelry that y'all don't own, put his chains on y'all neck. He's not really embarrassing y'all, and y'all haven't even fell out yet. Can you imagine what's coming y'all way as soon as y'all fall out? I hope y'all are paying attention. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. Eight carat earrings and everybody ear. I put three chains on all y'all neck. We Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, you the most dis you you was watching tables. You was you was you was you was waiting. What are we talking about, nigga? It's your motherfucker. Oh, you and Yadi didn't just stop there to further bury caribou. Yadi drops the reference track to her on the radar freestyle. Oh, man. Yo, 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 this is cold, y'all. Uh, Yadi is having a meltdown. And Yadi's meltdown is primarily because Yadi t has too much stock in the opinions of others. Meaning, Yadi is dictated solely by the internet. Yo, I've seen situations where we've posted something and Yadi would DM us saying, damn, bro, like, you don't like, rock with me? Like, because, yo, Yachty is dictated by the internet opinion. He crashed out on his best friend on IG Live because the fans were on him. He crashed out on Caribou because a fan posted something. Yachty needs to seek help. If you're somebody who have reached this stature, you should have learned how to deal with the opinions of others by now. You should have learned how to deal with the public, how to ignore it, how to have thicker skin. But Yadi haven't grown thicker skin. Yadi have gotten more sensitive as the years went on. Now, I don't know if that's due to when Yadi first came out, everybody was on Yadi, everybody was attacking Yadi. So now, like, Yadi sees everything as an attack on his character or an attack on him. But I don't know, bro. Yo, this is sad. You know, and if Yadi keeps on his path, bro, yo. Yachty is going to crash out. Because at this point, yo, this is like Yachty's like what? Like like second friend group? You know, I hope Yachty don't, don't have a third friend group, right? But y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, all right? What do y'all think? And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out why this woman needs to be locked up for doing this on a podcast. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.